everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the Art of Alopecia. For those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and I have an autoimmune condition called Alopecia Universalis. Basically what that means is my immune system mistakenly attacks my hair follicles and that is why I am completely bald and balding throughout my body. Um, and on this YouTube channel, I talk all about hair loss to raise awareness, to normalize baldness. I do lots of wig reviews, tips and tricks tutorials, Q and A's. I'm also very active on my Instagram page, also known as The Art of Alopecia, and on my TikTok, The Art of Alopecia. So be sure to follow me there. And while we're on this topic, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications. I promise I will not disappoint you. Um, but today is a very exciting day. I am in yet another location of my house. I really, really wanted to film this video in front of the best window that I had um, so that you guys can see how beautiful this piece that I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today. So you probably clicked on this video because you're wanting to see a wig review and that is what I'm going to be doing today. I am so excited. I have been wanting to try Mora Mode for about a year and a half since I first found them on Instagram. I've fallen in love with their wigs, the realism that they can create, the hairlines, the quality of hair. Everyone that wears a Mora Mode wig looks phenomenal and I just wanted to join the club. So Mora Mode has kindly, kindly, kindly gifted me one of their human hair front lace wigs and that is Free. Um, so I'm going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing, going to be showing you the wig, going to be talking all things more mode and why I love them so much. So if you guys are interested in seeing the gorgeous Capri wig, then keep watching. Alrighty, so for those who follow me on Instagram or TikTok saw that a few days ago or about a week ago I posted a little bit of a teaser trailer on what the wig looks like and I did a little bit of a fast track unboxing But this is the wig that it comes in. I am in love with this box It not only has a really adorable string, but it is magnetic and it didn't get damaged in the mail, which I'm so impressed by. They really packaged it up to ensure that this box wouldn't get ruined. So I was just so happy about this. Um, and then inside the box is just a little thank you card, which is always so much appreciated. Um, and then it came in this adorable um, polka dot black and white tissue paper. And obviously the wig was in here with tissue inside to hold the shape and a nice big netting around it. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10, the packaging was adorable. So impressed. As you guys know, I value packaging so highly on my list. I feel like it always, it always adds so much more excitement. I don't know why, it's like the wig, I understand the wig is like the priority, but the packaging, come on, it just makes me feel so special when the packaging is nice and thought out. Um, and I love a good box that is sturdy, that is magnetic, that I can store my wigs in, because once again, as I always say, when you are investing in higher quality wigs that are gonna cost you more, you're gonna wanna ensure that you have the storage for it, that will keep your wig beautiful and great quality. Um, but my next video, I'm thinking I'm going to be doing a wig story review, so stay tuned for that. That is it in terms of Mora Mode packaging, but let's get down to the real reason why you probably clicked on this video. So this is Miss Capri. She is on my frightening mannequin with some with a wig cap. I put the wig cap on the mannequin so it doesn't slide. Um, so Capri is a beautiful blonde. Um, she's kind of like a golden blonde, I want to say. It's like um, a little bit of a light caramel at the bottom. Um, she has framing highlights, if you can tell. I'm gonna try and give you as much information that I can. She is a custom deluxe wig. So the amazing thing about Mora Mode 
is if one of their wigs or two of their wigs intrigue you or you're wanting a particular size, you're wanting a particular length, a particular density, you can customize it to the key. So when you, when you click on a wig, it will show you on the website, you get to choose the hair length, baby hair, skin tone, cap type, cap size, um, custom hair thickness, so the density, which is amazing. So you can basically customize it to what you want it to be. So the Capri that they sent me is 20 inches long. Um, it did come with baby hairs. It is a universal um, HD lace. It is a lace front wig, cap size small, and the density is 150. So when I put it on, you guys can kind of have an idea of what that kind of wig will look like. But as I said, it is a front lace, so you can part it wherever you like, and I'm probably gonna end up changing the part because middle parts, they just, they don't always look the best on me. Um, and then it's a closed wefted cap with a comb um, that can be removed if you want. And it has a resistance band. These things are a lifesaver. I'm so happy. Um, when lace wigs started implementing these in their wigs because they are phenomenal, great for security, it is a must have. And it has little adjustment straps at the back. But with no further ado, let's throw her on. So before I put on the wig, I'm just going to adjust the adjustment straps and the resistance band. I don't normally put on my wigs like this, but for lace fronts, for these particular kind of lace fronts, I will always put resistance band first like that, pull down the back, flip the hair, and unravel the lace. Just like that. So before I show you this unreal hairline, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a brush. It smells amazing. Like literally smells so good. That's why I love receiving human hair wigs is because they will always freshly shampoo and condition it before they send it off. And they will always curl it for you. It was a little bit more curly, but of course it has fallen over time. So easy to brush, so soft. Okay, I haven't cut in the ear tabs yet, but let me just show you how amazing this hairline is. So if I were to cut the ear tabs, it would fall right there. How amazing is that? Oh my goodness. And then this is the middle part. I'll show you the other side. So as you can see, it does already have little baby hairs that sticks out, little natural, nothing too, nothing too crazy. Or can we just take a moment of silence to appreciate this amazing hairline? Like, have you seen something that realistic and that transparent on my skin? I have never seen anything like it. And this middle part is a little bit too intense for me. Um, I just not usually a middle part kind of gal, but as I said, you can um, part it wherever you like as the lace will follow. But as with any wig, you will have to train it. So maybe put down some water, spray some water, maybe use like a hot tool, maybe a straightener to you know force the hair in the direction that you're wanting it to go or to blow dry it maybe, but this is what it would look like if I wanted to part it on the side. I know that's like a very, very messy right now. Okay, here, let's brush it out. Okay, this is what it would look like, kinda. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to part it. Ah! But as for right now, we will just keep the middle part for the video so I don't come out looking like an alien. 
And the thing that I love about this wig is wherever you part it, it comes with baby hairs on like all parts of um, all parts of the lace. So it's gonna look natural wherever you part it. Guys, I'm just in the process of editing the video right now and I really wanted to say a few extra things um, that I really wanted to emphasize that I didn't when I was filming. So firstly, I wanted to make it very clear that this is high quality human hair, the best, best quality that you will find it gives you a lot of freedom and it gives you a lot of flexibility with the hair so you can curl it straighten it you can crimp it you can add low lights you can add highlights you can dye it you can bleach it I wouldn't recommend bleaching it at the very start um, just because of course you know when you bleach your hair it will kind of ruin it a little bit but the amazing thing about Mora Mode's hair is when it is import imported into the salon it's, it actually comes raw virgin hair, um, or it actually, sorry, it comes in as raw virgin hair. And what I mean by that is it hasn't been chemically altered um, by dyeing or bleaching it before. So when it comes in, it is 100% virgin, and then they go in and then they color it for the first time. So when you receive the hair, it seems, and it feels like it's virgin hair um, because it's only been technically dyed once or twice. Um, so this hair is amazing. It will last you a long time. You just have to beware of the lace starting to curl. So take care of that lace but I promise you the hair will feel like your own. It is such an amazing feeling, silky smooth all the time. Um, just be sure to take care of it as you would um, if you had your own bio hair. But I just, wanted to, I just wanted to say that, so let's get back to the video. This is the best hair quality that you will be receiving in a wig form out there. It is the softest, most natural, highest quality out there. I wanted to stand up for you guys. So I am five foot or sometimes five foot one, depending on what wig I'm wearing that day. Um, but without a wig, I am five foot usually. So this is how long it is on me. And I'll show you the back, just how beautiful are those curls. This wig has left me in awe. It gives me so much confidence. I don't think I've ever had a hair color this kind, um, but this is what it looks like in front of the natural lighting. So if you go on their website and you look at their picture, they have more of a darker lighting and it looks a bit more pinkish actually. Um, but this is what it looks like. It is a stunning, stunning color. So I would highly, highly recommend. Um, and as for what you can do with it, so you can style up. Um, you just have to cut in the ear tabs, which I did do a video on how to customize your wigs on my IGTV. So you just cut up and then you would peel the rest back. Some people like to actually cut the rest. Um, but if you wanted to style up, I would recommend gluing it down or taping it down so that lace doesn't start to curl. But if you wanted to just go out with your hair down, I don't even think you need to do anything to it. No glue, no need for tape. It just stays so secure and that is because of the resistance band. So this is technically a glueless wig, um, a glueless lace wig, so you don't have to put any adhesive on it. It's all about personal preference. It's all about what you're doing in your wig, how you're styling it. And as for styling it up, you can do a low to medium pony but you can't do anything high because of um, the kind of cap construction it is at the back. Um, you can put high ponies, you can put your hair in high ponies with a full lace, um, but unfortunately not with a front lace beat. But that doesn't stop you from doing like a cute low pony or like a cute low bun. You can do whatever you'd like. You could probably put, wear like a headband to secure the back, to make it a little bit of a higher pony, um, but without any kind of help, you won't be able to do that. But there's so much more that you can do with this wig. It is just stunning. Everyone is going to be staring at you in this wig, just admiring how beautiful the hair is and how beautiful you are in the wig. But don't you guys worry, I'm going to be posting the heck out of this wig on my Instagram. I will show you guys how I style it. Um, I might do like an updated video after a few months of wearing this wig. But I can assure you, I have taken the week to wear it around the house. Um, I've 
taken a couple of trips outside with this wig. It is light. It might not look light due to how long it looks, but it is light. I can assure you that 100% in honesty. It is light, it is comfortable, it is breathable, and I was going out in like 20 to 30 degree weather. So I can assure you that this is such an amazing wig, high quality, beautiful hair, cap construction is great. The density is just perfect for me. It gives me the volume that I want, but the cap is not peeking up at the back. So it is all together just phenomenal, perfect. I am giving my absolute honest opinion, guys. I am 100% authentic with you guys on this channel. I would highly, highly recommend going to check out Mora Mode. Um, I just typed in all of the info about what my wig is and it comes to um, $1,275 Canadian. So not bad. I know that seems expensive, but again, if you, you get what you pay for, you know, if you are willing to invest in a high quality wig, um, it's gonna cost you some money. But again, there are cheaper alternatives. Mora Mode has a variety of different prices, different colors, different lengths, densities. Again, you can customize anything to the point that you want. Um, but that is it for today's video guys. Thank you so 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 much for watching and thank you to Mora Mode for your kindness and your generosity and for gifting me this gorgeous wig. I am going to love it with so much pride. Um, but that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, like this video if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, big, big thumbs up, um, turn on your post notifications, do what you can to support me and support the alopecia community, and go follow Mora Mode because they are phenomenal human beings that are wizards with hair and wigs. Um, but I will be linking everything down below, so don't you guys worry about searching the website and not being able to find it, I will link it all down below. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm mumbling at this point, but we will see you next time on the Art of Alopecia. Bye guys!